So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Part 13. Yes, part 13. Um, it's not really something that you guys probably expected for part 13, but I thought why not do it? It's just easy. It's something that you guys wanted way back in like what part three. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, and it's the thumbnail for your game. So it's actually really, really, really simple. It's not even hard. It's you don't have to, you to get any. So you, you just have to get have Roblox Studio and Chrome. That's literally all you need. So you do it. You want to spawn your character in. So let's just use Piggy for now. Okay, we're gonna use Piggy. Uh, I'm actually gonna use Piggy from my main menu thing way back for the intermission thingy. And I'm gonna go to workspace. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the the two characters in the menu for now. Okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna go like this. Boom. I'm gonna use those two. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. We're gonna keep that on like this. Okay. You wanna animate um your character. So animate your character as much as you want. They get the ID from that animation and put it into your character's idol so you want to make an animation put the id in there and if you want to do with like piggy with the idol animation if you just want to do that to mess around with it this is the id right here 690291055 just type that in and you'll have the main menu idol and then just type this in the script okay make sure it's called idol and make sure this is called idol as well Okay, so then once you do that, you want to click on run. So you want to go to home, run, and it should load in with the animations. Yeah, so now what you want to do is you want to get the perfect time and anchor it. And now they're frozen with that animation. Then what you want to do is you want to copy that, get out of it, and delete these two and paste the new ones in. And now they've got the animations as a model. Isn't that cool, right? You probably knew that or maybe you didn't. But yeah, I'm gonna make this the idol for him. So I'm actually gonna get rid of Georgie's bat. Right arm, let me just get rid of that. Actually, you know what, I'll just keep it. And boom, so now you have, now position them the way you want. So I'm just gonna position them like that. Uh, maybe more like that. Yeah, and then once you do that, change the material if you want of your character, or just choose your character. And we're gonna put them like that. Let's change it to like that. Now let's go here. Put this, make a part, and just put it at the back. Like, make it green, move it down, get a bit, delete the base plate. So now you have this. Now what you wanna do uh, is you wanna go make this 20. Okay, and you want to put that up like that. Then you you have only Piggy there. So what you want to do is you want to go on your thing and you just want to get sn the snipping tool. You want to click on new and you want to just snip this part. Whoops, no, you want to snip this part out, just Piggy. And you want to go to photo peer right here. Okay, once you're in it, just go to new project and you want to make this 500 by 500 okay and you also want to name this whatever you want so i'm just going to call it test thumbnail. i already did one <coughs> sorry about that but i already did one test thumbnail yeah guys you can't tell me this does not look like from piggy come on it I did this and it, uh, it kind of looks like it's from Piggy. Maybe it doesn't. But yeah, I made that. So yeah, to do it, I'm just going to call it test thumbnail. I'm going to make it transparent and create. So then you want to go back to your snip tool thingy, whatever you snip do with. And you want to copy it here, then paste it in. And it's going to be in your thing like that. And just put it, center it wherever you want. And just delete that. And you can delete all the green bits and yeah and then you just want to go to blending options stroke and you'll make the stroke white and you size the stroke like that 
and you can move your character anywhere you want. So I'm gonna rotate it a bit. I'm just gonna put it up in the corner there. <laughs> and yeah, and now we're gonna do little brother. So we're gonna move it up 20, move this one down, just so we can keep them separated. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna use. You can do angles. I'm gonna use that angle. And I'm gonna just go zip. Boop. Copy. And then you wanna paste it in. Again. You just wanna resize it to the size you want. And then just get rid of that. And get rid of all the green that you see. And that's all you want. And then you just wanna click on that. If you wanna get rid of the background another way, go for it. Choose any way you want. And I'm gonna go with that. Blending options, stroke, boom. I'm gonna put it behind Piggy, just because you know, it'll look better. Choose the way you wanna set it. I'm gonna make it a bit more. Now just choose it the way you want it. Now I'm gonna, something that you could do is you could, oh never mind. I was gonna, oh no, no, you can't really do that. I'm gonna make Piggy more that. And you have your characters there for your menu. So now you wanna delete that, okay? So now you just have your characters here and you just want to select both of them and merge the layers now you want to select a background so i'm gonna just select any like on like model like any map really that there that there is on piggy so i'm just gonna make the floor like that just for now so i can see everything actually i'm gonna make it like that so i'm gonna use the piggy house Or you can just get a picture off the internet. But that's not working right now. Piggy house. Let's see if that works. Uh, let's just use this one. And let's find the area. Where Who is this? She has a yellow shirt. This is... Martha. This isn't really working out. Just find an area. Yeah, I can use that. You want to go to snipping tool. You want to go here. You just want to select the bit you want copy it go here paste it in so what you can do if you want you can blur it if you want the blue background put it under them so you can if you want to i'm just gonna quickly just hold on let me hold on let me get this here So yeah, you can um, like blur the background if you wanted to. Ah, uh, there. We're gonna get rid of that green bit. They're just sticking out. Okay, so now we're gonna merge the layers now. We're gonna merge layers and we're gonna make the background a bit smaller so it looks more like the house. Like that, I'm gonna move the layer up. Okay, so I don't know if you heard that, that was my iPad. Okay, so now we've got that. It's not the best I can do, but it's okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to, people have been asking me to make, it, like, uh, the how to make the piggy logo thing with the ears on the P, and it's the simplest thing you could probably ever do to make this, you just have to, yeah. So, 
just write what you want. I'm just gonna write piggy because that's the sh that's the show. I was gonna say show, that's the game. <laughs> show. You can make it whatever font you want. So I'm gonna make it a. I'm gonna make it the cl the closest to the piggy font. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? And we're gonna make it the color of it white. But hold on. So yeah, if you didn't use it, if you didn't use like the P with the ears thing, it w it would look too plain. So I'm gonna make the stroke color like black, and then the color overlay a white. Actually, I'll make the stroke just a little more down, and yeah, and then we're gonna do some of that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to blending options and get rid of the stroke just for now so we can do this we're gonna do you want to right click on that and choose that one and you want to just like this like you want to put it as a white and move it how you want control c v control c control v will make a new one because you're just copying it and pasting it Put that on right there. You can change it up. Just make it as neat as you can. Cause like, you know, it's a piggy game. You want to make it neat, and you want to do that. Boom. We're gonna make it more out like that. Yeah. Okay. Now that's one ear. Control C. Control V. Yeah, like that. Okay, once you have what you want, you're just gonna make them a bit smaller. So a bit too. Oh, like that. Yeah, you can make it however you want. I just made it like that. And you just wanna select all of them. You wanna select this one, hold shift and select that one, and it'll select all three. And you wanna click that, merge layers, and then you wanna go to blending options, stroke. And now it will stroke outline it. So there, that's how you do that. Um, or you can just get, if you want to make just the piggy logo, you can just search it up on the internet. So you, then what you want to do is you want to do Control C, Control V for the whole logo. You want to move it down a bit. You want to just put it underneath, and then you can go here, stroke, make it black, color overlay, and make it black. And that's how you do like a drop shadow thingy. It's not really a drop shadow. What is it? I don't know. And then you want to merge the layers and then center it wherever you want. We're going to make it a bit more. Like that. And there you have that. So now we're going to... This is the part where it's more fun to do this. Um, I just like doing this personally. So you just want to click on the paintbrush tool here. And you want to click on the paintbrush tool here. Then you want to make it whatever color you want. Why is it pink? But for me, I'm going to make it red because I want to like do her eye. So you want to click on this and click on red. And then it might be a bit small. So then you just want to make sure that it's not meant to be. If, if it doesn't work, just right click on this and click one of them when it shows. Um, but yeah, you should be able to just click and make her eye glow. And the same with the white bit. And, let's make it a bit more. and then we're gonna make it black. This, it looks more cooler when it's like the black. It's got not like a light on it. Doesn't that look cool? It looks like she's evil. I mean, she is evil. Okay, um, so yeah, once you do that, you can add static if you want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it round this all the way down to then size it a bit bigger, and you can make it like a static you just want to make it go boop 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 that doesn't really look like a static you can do like static so don't want to go boom 
Boom, boom. You can make a static whatever you want. And we'll get, that's good, I guess. Yeah, let's just do that, because why not? And then we're going to do this. It just kind of looks like it has lines, or it has lines on it. You can just change it up, you can make it black. Lines are a bit bigger. Boom, 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 Okay, so once you do that, uh, you don't have to do that. It just makes it look more different. And yeah, you have that done. And now we can do more, um, we can just do the border thing. This is how I do the border. But what you want to do to do it is you just want to hold shift from the bottom and go to the top and merge the layers. And there you go, now you have that. So now you want to do is you want to go to the paintbrush tool make that black go back to this round us all the way up and make it bigger like that then we're just going to shade it down this bit takes a bit of time to get it perfect it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to look professional you know what i mean don't rush it as well don't do what i just did you want to take your time to put in and you want to just this is how I do it personally. This is probably not how many people does it. Many people probably goes, oh, let me just get a border. You can do that to make it like, you can do what I'm doing right now to make it a line, like a perfect line. It's not really perfect, but. I mean, nothing is perfect, right? Up, we go, and just a. Oh my god! You want to do bits by bits, and now let go of it so you can do it again. And you, oh my, god. just um, make it as good as you want. Once you have it with what you want, you can click that and you can add uh, other stuff you want. So you want to click on this circle that's in half and you want to click Q slash saturation. You can do, don't change that because it will just do that. So you want to set that to zero and you want to change the saturation. You want to put it up just a little bit, not too high because it will do that. It will hurt your eyes. You want to do just a little bit after what it is. So it makes it vibrant and pink. And then you want to make that like bright. You can make it bright or b just black or white. You can make it brighter like that. That looks good. Now we're going to do um, brightness and contrast. We're going to do the contrast like that. That looks like, who's, whose thumbnails is that? I forgot who has their thumbnails like that. That looks like Piggy 100 players, right? But yeah, just choose what you want. And brightness you choose it like that or you can choose it down a bit like that and yeah that's how i make mine that's how i make my thumbnails um i don't really just rush my thumbnails i will profiles you can call them whatever you want thumbnails profiles doesn't really matter but i don't really rush mine i just kind of take my time into it because you need it to look good like this like look at it it actually looks pretty bad <laughs> um but yeah that's basically it and then what you want to do is you want to go here file export png i'm not you you just want to do that and make it like that and you just want to click save okay it will download it boom once you do that it's just downloaded into your downloads so now once you have it complete you can just click the x leave and you can go to roblox do you want to go to create on roblox or no you just want to go to your profile thing um i'm just gonna go to whatever game but you have you go to your game that you want so i'm gonna go to parker and you want to click on this configure this place 
icon choose file choose the file you want then upload and then save and that's how you do it that's how you do that guys um yeah remember to like subscribe comment hashtag till the end so i so i know that only some of the some of you made it to the end of the video but yeah if you made it this far into the video comment hashtag to the end and uh yeah like subscribe hit the bell and um yeah i'll see you guys next time bye